guys welcome back with another video in this video i'm going to review the exodus os powered by lineage os yes you heard it right exodus os based on lineage os so let's get started with full review first of all let me show you from the settings and about section as well what i always try to do here android version will be android 12.1 and December 5 security update you guys can see very latest one and kernel used lineage os plus latest one and this is amazing and lineage os always very much stable compared to other custom roms any other custom roms so that's really really important things for daily life user as a daily driver this is gonna be another perfect rom i can recommend you guys in system you guys will get languages and import and buttons and system profiles just like lineage os but what makes it different he this one has some different customization just like they actually try to add some customization like device settings and you guys already know about that mi sound enhancer ambient display and display color calibration and other things and thermal profiles these are the new things which is missing on official lineage os and we have a status bar and uh, system icons then uh, auto hide clock position and EMPM style and battery percentage and brightness slider auto brightness uh, these are some customizations then we have google and password and accounts and other things like we have in security section we have only fingerprints you guys will get the fingerprints as well and which is very much faster then we have the wallpaper and style by default you guys will get exodus os some wallpapers then of course we have here the dark theme themed icons and upgrade as well and other things here we have display as usual the regular customizations are available double tap to wake and full screen applications uh, you guys can add no issues with that and double tap to sleep and rotation settings and then we have a live display settings a reading mode and color calibration as well and picture ad adjustment also available here and adaptive brightness other things are working fine without any issues now let's talk about what makes a difference so exodus os settings which is different from lineage os and other things are similar no issues with that we have status bar as well we have network traffic and which is perfectly working i already checked no issues with that and we have left padding right padding and we have some extra things uh, like you guys will get google photos unlimited storage and spoofing something or uh, here you have display 4g icon in signal icon instead lte you guys can do that small mobile type icons Oh, we have that on um, status button then we have the quick settings and background transparency you guys can change vertical layout and data uses which is the latest feature data uses now uh, you guys will get it here then we have the lock screen ripple effect and quick unlock uh, if you enable want to then you just do that and only uh, background chip show cloak background chip if you need that feature you guys can enable background chip just like that one if you don't need that border uh, in the background of your clock then you guys can turn that off and we then we have the theme then font style you guys can change so many fonts are available like ubuntu ruby one plus just like that and the sig uh, signal icon pack icon pack icon shapes and uh, signal icons and wi-fi styles uh, these are the customizations uh, which is different from uh, the lineage os and then we have the other and ignore window secure flags and unlimited google photo storage and high fps in gaming and this is gonna be another best choice for gaming because we have no cpu throttle i found for the first time in a custom room for redmi 7 no cpu throttle so i will show you guys and another important thing which is netflix is poof you guys can stream hd quality videos on your device so redmi y3 and redmi 7 three finger gesture and volume steps can be customizable and then flashlight and smart charging uh, smart charging can uh, just it can trigger your charging level at its best 
then we have the jitter test and which is really really smooth really very smooth no jitter you guys will not get anything so i can recommend you guys if you want to try then of course you will uh, you won't be disappointed because this is another best thing and another important thing the uh, automatic call recorder which is important things you guys will get automatic call recorder just go to settings and of course sound and vibration and you guys can see here call recording audio format amrwb i already checked it and the sound quality was really really cool and so this is another great choice because without getting any beep or any sound you guys will be able to record any voice call so this is really really great and the smoothness which will be better because this is based on lineage OS and main things are based on lineage OS everything but uh, vendor systems everything just added some customization that's the difference and nothing then we have the moto audio which is by default included so no issues with that and with music movie game and custom you guys can use no problem and other things mainly uh, here we have the gcam is working perfectly without any issue and there will be another great things uh, gcam perfectly working i already checked now let's talk about the important things and which is the geekbench score let me show you which is 261118 which is really really great as 12.1 android and here is the impressive things which is no cpu thermal throttling detected i ran it for 100 trades for five minutes there is no cpu throttle so this is gonna be another best thing and let me show you the home settings which what we have we have the hidden and protected application if you want to hide any application and memory info and show grid recent application and this launcher is really really cool and perfectly working without any issue and if you need any app info and other things you guys can click on that if you want to split it top then of course you guys can do that as well and this is the recent grid option which is also cool so that's the review for today and if i miss anything just let me know in the comment section below and i will provide you the gameplay result later um, on a post on youtube so uh, keep watching so thank you for watching the video and don't forget to hit the like button and if you uh, want to share this video of course you guys can share this uh, with your friends so thank you for watching